Hello everyone and welcome back to Age of Nagash and in this video we're going to be talking about two things. Right, the first one that hasn't been so fun, so let's get that done, is basically I haven't been able to make any videos for a little while because I have just been recovering from COVID. So luckily I have managed to get over it now, I've defeated that, and to be honest I was quite lucky compared to a lot of people because I basically managed to get away with two years without catching it, so eventually it was going to get me, and when I had it, not gonna lie, was shit, but it meant that I couldn't really record many videos. Basically just before I got it, I managed to do the video recording for a um, paint tutorial I've got coming up, which is all about rock guard trogoffs. So I managed to do the video of me actually painting it, but then for me to do the voiceover, couldn't really talk. So unfortunately that's been delayed, but hopefully I'll be able to get that out for you guys um, the beginning of next week, if not the weekend. So that's the first thing I wanted to talk about that's not so fun, but over that now, so I'm happy. And then the second thing that is quite cool that I wanted to talk about is that I have just bought a new army, some new models, which is quite an interesting thing because I was going to stick to Gloom Spike Gits and Necrons this year, but I wanted to basically do a bit of an update on that and tell you why my butterfly effect of wanting to jump to different armies is always going to come up. And that army that I have chosen to do is going to be Fire Slayers. So what have we got for the Fire Slayers that I have bought? So we're going to have the Battle Tome, obviously. Of course, that is needed. And then we're also going to have a Stark Collecting Box. What we've got right here, so we've got the Magma Draft and everything in there, which is a fantastic looking model, and I've always actually wanted to own one. And then we are going to have some Volkrite Berserkers, so we've got a box of those as well. So what I want to talk about is why did I choose to buy these Fire Slayers, and kind of on that subject, you know, why am I jumping away from projects that I said at the start of the year I'll be doing? Now, firstly, I'll still be doing those projects. The only thing that happened basically is I started this year going, right, new year, new army, two set armies. And then basically what was going to happen following that is my store has been doing uh, like uh, monthly painting competitions to try and encourage you to paint up that new year, new army. But unfortunately um, for me, um, you know, fortunately, because it needs to happen, uh, I've had a lot of uh, work come in and a lot of things like training courses and stuff. So it meant that I wasn't available to do any of these painting events or anything like that. So it really has not made me have to focus on those two armies I've picked. And because by the time now where things are getting a bit more uh, free time in my hands, uh, we haven't been on so many training courses and stuff. I've missed a lot of the painting events already. So that kind of means that I've already missed that sort of new year, new army sort of thing for me, unfortunately. But I'm still going to be continuing the Gloom Spike Gits and the Necrons, obviously. But what this means is it's actually given me basically some more freedom to follow how I am doing the hobby these days, which is like I've already mentioned, because um, I don't really get to play as many um, games as Age of Sigma and stuff. I'm not focusing on competitive play and I play, you know, models that I think are cool and uh, like narrative sort of scenario battles essentially so what that means is how i'm doing the hobby now is i'm just buying and building and painting what i think's cool and what i want to do and why i think this is fantastic for me you know again if you're really into your competitive play you know this means that there's certain armies you want to do and then there's certain units within the armies that you might have to spam or something like that or you might have to you know really focus on certain parts of an army that just might make the building the painting of the army a bit repetitive so the nice thing about in my situation is the reason why I've got the Fire Slayers is not essentially for a building a whole Fire Slayer army, but I want to build a Grand Alliance Order army, which might be sort of like focused around a, a City of Sigma army because it might work best that way, but to be honest, it's Grand Alliance Order, so I can have anything I want. And I'm going to have that to go against my Gloom Spy Gits army I was talking about at the start of the year, which is now going to turn into basically a Grand Alliance Destruction army mainly heavily focus on orcs and goblins. So I'm going to create basically, you know, a modern day orcs and goblins uh, Age Sigma army, which would be really cool. And because I'm not really bothered about losing out on, you know, good battle traits and all that sort of thing by not going pure orc war clans, etc. It means that I can just basically mix and match all the units I want to and all the models that I want to buy and paint. So that for me alone gives me enough encouragement and motivation to actually build and paint the models. Um, like as a prime example, for Fire Slayers is an army that I've never really uh, looked at getting because with Fire Slayers, I've never 
really ever painted dwarves or really bought dwarves. The only dwarves I've ever had um, was in Warhammer Fantasy, and that was from uh, Battle of Skull Pass. And I was so young back then when I got it. Essentially, my idea of painting those dwarves is that I'm going to say they all have grey clothes because then that means that the plastic's already grey, so that's fantastic. So all I need to do is put a bit of pink on the faces and then they're done. Well, that was my idea of doing it back then, so I'm going to count that as I haven't really painted dwarfs. So it's a completely new thing to me, and I've always liked the like, magma drops, like I mentioned a bit earlier in the video, um, that came out with these fire slayers. And I was always like, oh, I'd, I'd quite like to do those. But the reason why I didn't is because I heard the magma drops weren't really good. You know, that isn't what you took for competitive play. And um, because I was very competitive back then, in terms of how I played Age of Sigma, I'd be like, oh, well, if the Magma Drifts aren't the competitive thing, that's the thing I mainly like about the army. Uh, I don't really want to do the army. Or like, for example, the one unit that was really good, I can't remember the name, but it's like the more elite Fire Slayer unit that people used to spam, and I think that doesn't work these days. Anyway, um, I don't just want to have the same unit again and again and again, because... I'll say that the Fire Slayers, I think a lot of the Dwarves look the same, obviously. So actually having the same unit again and again and again, you know, for me, pretty boring. But now, you know, I'm not in that completely competitive mindset. I can build and paint the models how I want to um, and like buy the models that I want to. I am much more interested in doing it. And the thing is, I look at it as what I purchased here. The reason why I got, like I said, the Start Collecting box, the uh, Battle Tome, and then that box of Volkrite Berserkers, just double checking the name there. Um, it's because I saw on a, a buy and sell group and it's actually what we had going is in the buy and sell group, it was um, in the UK, someone was selling this for 70 pounds, including postage and PayPal fees and stuff, which were including the Bastion start collecting and that box of miniatures. So 70 pounds is a steal really a bargain so I thought I'd jump on that and because like I say I want to build and collect things that I think look cool and in case I think these guys look cool um it gives me that freedom which I'm really really quite enjoying at the moment um especially going forward because it means that this mixed Grand Alliance Order Army essentially what I have is I have all the Stormcasts from the Mortal Realm magazine so that's like the bulk of it if you like but I'm gonna have these fire slayers, and I'm not essentially, you know, massively expecting to buy more fire slayers, not immediately anyway. Um, but I would just like to have that as like a detachment of this order army, which would be quite cool. And it will be themed around the same. And like I said, it's going against my uh, destruction army, my orcs and goblins, Age of Sigma army. So what that means is that it's all going to be based similar to them as well. So it all looks like it fits for if I ever want to set up, you know, dioramas and all that sort of thing um, to have like, you know, enemies versing each other and because I'm going to be obviously on that note basing and theming the fire slayers the same as the uh, the storm cast and the same as if I ever get elves and all that sort of thing as well or maybe some humans um, you know just some free city stuff some Caesar Sigma stuff it means that it all ties in nicely whilst still looking like it has separate like divisions within the army and it has lots of variety um, essentially with that so that's basically why i decided to buy the fire slayers also there is a painting event this month that's coming up at the end of the month which i'm not currently working that day so i'm going to hopefully try and enter it and what that painting event is is all about monsters so i'm going to maybe try and get that magma drop built and painted we'll see how it goes but for the end of the month could be quite cool but anyways i just wanted to share um this video with you guys because i just wanted to just a quick one just to say basically what's been going on with me at the moment like i said i've just recovered from covid so unfortunately i actually had about um after that uh army case how to make yourself video with the magnets and stuff i actually had a couple more videos lined up to come out in the next few days after and then suddenly i got the bloody you know virus and that meant that i couldn't get those videos out so hopefully now I've got my voice back and stuff, like I'm probably about 80% better, but I've been 80% for a few days now, so I think this is the new normal. Um, but now I've got my voice back pretty much, I'm going to try and do the voiceovers for that painting video for you guys. Um, get that out to you um, in not too long, like I say, hopefully the weekend, if not next week. And then there's also a other video that's not about GW stuff, so I think that would be quite interesting, quite cool. Let me know your thoughts on that. And um, obviously this video, which I was just saying about um, my idea of how I'm buying and collecting models these days. And because, like I say, basically it all comes down to 
I'm buying lots of... It, it feels weird for me because where I've always been like, well, I'm collecting Death, I'm collecting, you know, uh, Slanesh or something like that. It's always been very much along the lines of, well, I wouldn't really buy any models outside of those armies because that serves no point because I won't be able to use them much in a game. Well, firstly now, obviously, lots of Warcry going on. So that means that you're a lot easier to use, you know, um, a few miniatures from different armies and all that sort of thing, create warbands. Um, and also, because I'm being able to um, build and paint what I want, that means that I'm actually building and painting it. Whereas if I was just focused on one army, I would run out of motivation much quicker. So almost sounds a bit funny where I'm like... Um, buying lots of things that might appear you know random and not really coherent but I'll make it all work I'll make it all feeling the same and all that sort of thing but by buying lots of different random things um and kind of feels like you're going with the butterfly effect like I mentioned earlier um we're sort of like you know you just see something shiny on a shelf and you're like oh I want that you know that looks cool I'll buy it and then it just goes to the backlog forever um because I'm actually find that stuff cool and interesting uh and it's and it's different and it gives me variety in painting um, I'll actually get it painted because I'm going to enjoy the painting and enjoy the building. And that's not just me um, saying that I will do and then I won't because I've been doing that already, uh, like with the Gloom Spike Gits and the Necrons and etc. Um, and it's it's worked out really well. So I'm excited to do that with the Fire Slayers. Like, for example, I haven't painted a lot of um, sort of like flesh before when I have. It's been on things like uh, the odd, like, you know, Sleeves of Darkness model or like Flesh Eater Courts or something. I haven't really done it too much on... Um, you know, like a whole army like the Fire Slayers. And I did do a few acolytes for the like uh, Silver Tower that came out, you know, the Zeech acolytes, the mortals um, for the Zyphals of Zeech. And I actually really enjoyed it. I found because I wasn't rushing to paint it, those models for like an army or something for a tournament and I could take my time, really, really enjoyed it and actually learned a lot from doing it as well. So by painting all these different armies and these different themes and these different models, um, means I'm going to learn a lot and improve as a painter and a uh, hobbyer as well so that's something that I'll take away from it as well and um, the other thing is because I haven't got too many models for this army like what have I got probably I think that's roughly 22 models here or something um, and I don't really intend to buy any more um, not for a while anyway uh, for the fire slayers I don't feel overwhelmed I feel like that's a nice little project like to be honest just the just the star collecting box would have been fine but because it was such a good you know price for the bundle I, I got it all obviously um but then that means that I might want to buy a you know a, an elf star collecting box at one point and you know that's only another what probably 20 models or something so it's, it's easy to get done and it changes up the painting it keeps it interesting and um yeah that, that's what I'm really really enjoying at the moment <coughs> pardon me when I'm in the hobby and I think what's really, really good about that is it allows me to um, not really give up on the hobby because when life gets very busy, um, like I was saying, like it has for me, and I'm sure it has for a lot of people, the hobby when it comes to the building the painting, especially if it ever feels like a chore, you, you don't want to do it at all. Um, I'll be lying if I said I did. So by doing this and making it so I'm enjoying it, um, it really, really works for me. And I'm happy I found this space because it's weird to feel like I can go in buy the models that I want to and all that sort of thing without having to fit a certain army but it still work and me not feel guilty going well I shouldn't really bought that model there's nothing to do with my armies I'm gonna start another army why am I doing that I haven't finished the last one the usual sort of things um isn't really a problem with this way because it's all gonna fight in an army anyway just be grand alliance order the sacrifice there for example not gonna have as good rules in the game well I'm not playing to have the best army in the game anyway i'm playing to have the army that i want to play on the table because i think it looks cool um and it works well enough to have fun with basically so uh that's it so i understand this video has been a bit of a um sort of a ramble on repeat and all that sort of thing but i haven't made a video for a little while like i say because obviously recovering so am i to be honest my voice is going on now a little bit so i don't know when i'll be able to get that painting video out for you guys but hopefully not too soon uh well obviously not too long even on that one um but anyway i hope you guys enjoy this video and kind of like i said just a bit of discussion if you um feel the same as me the things i've been talking about in this video put that down in the comments down below you know how you are actually um you know collecting and buying and building and painting your models and how you're doing your armies do you ever feel like if you're just sticking to a certain army you lose motivation after you've painted the first i don't know 30 models or the first couple of units and the hero and you just you see something else that's shiny on a um like on a shelf and you you jump at that and you go well, i've already got a huge army here well i haven't you know built and painted but I, I want the new thing um because honestly like this sort of like 
as I call it, like small detachments of different armies that you can combine to make a whole army and like these grand alliances in Age of Sigma. Um, that's what I'm really enjoying at the moment and it allows me to have my um, creative freedom, shall we say, of wanting to buy lots of different things, but it works because I'm not buying loads of things in excess and because I haven't got that excess amount of models uh, for all those armies, uh, I don't feel like the pressure and the weight of going like, oh, there's a lot to do and I don't really want to do it now. Um, I'm not really having that problem. So maybe, hopefully, you might find this video uh, useful as well. You got any questions or any thoughts on how you're doing things, what keeps you motivated um, when it comes to building and painting, all that sort of thing. Let me know that in the comments down below. Um, so that, guys, I'm going to thank you very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, of course, smash the like button, the subscribe button, the bell notification. Free, easy clicks. Uh, it's absolutely free. Massively helps out the channel. Um, I would really, really appreciate it if you could do that. Um, and also, if you feel like you know someone who would enjoy this video as well, make sure you share it with them. If you'd like to join the Asian Nagash Discord, we've got a link to that in the description of this video where you've got loads of people talking anything from all the games of, you know, um, Age, well, Age of Sigma Warhammer uh, 40k and some other games as well. Loads of painting, lore, you know, tactics, um, news loads of stuff going on this god if you'd like to join it. it's a fantastic community and then also if you'd like to support the channel a step further i have got a patreon or youtube uh, membership and i say support the channel basically at the moment all the money i'm getting from my supporters is going straight out to help um ukrainians out in their home country and charities helping them because not gonna lie to you guys everything that's going on over there is completely disgusting and um, as I've, I've mentioned this in another video so i won't go too much into it but anything that i can do to to help out I will like so far we've given uh, 200 pounds to uh, the Red Cross to help out over there, which is um, something that I'm really happy that I've managed to do. And you know, thank all you guys as well for giving money towards that. What I would say as well is if you would like to support um, and help out over there, don't send the money to me because essentially if you send the money through uh, YouTube membership or you know Patreon or something like that, Patreon or YouTube take a cut out of it anyway. So just send. Um, you know donations and stuff to the red cross or other respectable charities out there um but obviously if you are already supporting me or if you want to just support um those charities through me and you want to just help out the channel absolutely go ahead and do that and the people who have been really helping out in this situation i'm just going to read out their names because they're absolutely heroes it's going to be my biggest supporter who is my vampire lord and zombie dragon which is uh philco so philco thank you so much for continuously helping and supporting the channel honestly makes a huge difference and you've been supporting at such a high tier now for so long and never take it for granted mate thank you so much and then my Morgas who are bleed red and gold swept dandy guys thank you so much as well because of that tier it's still a very generous amount you're giving towards the channel like i say towards help out in a horrific situation going on so thank you so much for your donations and then my vampires I always say are the core that keeps the channel going to help out it's going to be ben c roush to one david a dragon nitty ronnie h darren l spare bear christopher h north drop nathan f andrew g tom w wiki hootie nathan s so guys, thank you all so much for giving a generous amount of support as well. And then my necromancers, of course, it's going to be Jack L, Wolfnick, um, AW77, uh, Tom M, Michael W, Cranky Wombat, Christopher C, Krista F, Steve T, James T, James S, uh, Thomas B, Patrick F, JJ, R, Christopher, Seption, Sean S, Gordon W, and Val. Guys, thank you all so much for what I'd say, uh, you know, normally supporting the channel, but in this case, like I say, helping out over there. Um, it, it's, it's just nice anything we can do to help out um readers help and like i said you know thanks to you guys you know 200 pounds um and also you know this within that sort of money it also includes the people who uh, the money i get from views and stuff on the channel um essentially basically get like uh, i think it's like last month was like 58 quid from youtube including members and uh, ad revenue and then patreon was Probably about just under fifty pounds, um, because it was like sixty-eight dollars or something. Um, and then all that money is just going to, to help out over there. I think like a hundred pounds anyway. Like it gets, it's enough money to set up a, a medic and a refugee camp. It said on the website, or it gets like you know sixty of those, you know, um, inflatable mattresses or something to help out in refugee camps and all that sort of thing. So. It, it all goes to help, like I say, if you are not already supporting me and you want to give as much money as you can to charity, do it for your charities, don't do it for me, uh, like I say. Um, but if you do want to, you know, show appreciation to the channel, do it for me and it, it's always nice that I can see that I've got another member or supporter. And if you'd like to do that, like I say, a join button next to the subscribe button or a link to my Patreon on top of the description down below. 
uh, massively helps out. And uh, if you can't do that, guys, anyway, like, and you do enjoy stuff, like I say, just smash the like button, subscribe button, bell notification, massively helps. And, you know, share the channel with someone. It really does help the, um, my channel out, getting more people aware of my channel. And hopefully I'll be getting some more videos out for you guys uh, sometime soon. Like I say, we're... I've been making some gaps and not producing many videos. I hope I've been um, doing as much communication as I can and reasons for that. Um, because I want to make sure I'm making good videos for you guys rather than just um, content for the sake of content, which I'm not going to lie, get away with doing that in the past. And um, I want to make sure when I can make videos for you guys, it's videos that I'm happy with and uh, proud of and all that sort of thing, which I'm really happy that that um, army boxer video I did with all the magnets and stuff, that seems to have um, helped a lot of people. So that's fantastic. And if you um, have watched that and you've got some more questions and stuff, check out the comment section because it's filled with people who have done similar things and sharing their experiences of things they learned and stuff. And I've learned from reading the comment section on that as well. Um, but anyway, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. A bit of fun. A um, bit of an update, bit of um, explaining how I go around buying models and stuff these days. Well, I think it's always an interesting conversation we can all have um, in the comment section or in the Discord or something like that. It's always um, good to see because, you know, it's, we're spending hard-earned cash, aren't we? And it's nothing worse than, you know, spending hard-earned cash and then putting that stuff basically in the garage, in the basement, in the loft, in a cupboard, in a bookshelf and never actually using it. Like, for example, uh, the glue slide kits that I showed you before. I have actually painted like half of this so far. So I'm doing pretty well. And it means that when I go to switch over and paint some fire slayers now, I'm going to, you know, change it up to keep me painting rather than stop the painting. And then um, when I paint some of those, go back to paint some of those, you know, maybe paint the magma draft, build and paint that and then go back to uh, paintings and gloom slate kits and again if you'd like to see me do any painting tutorials or anything for the fire slayers uh, after I've painted a couple or something and I've got used to it uh, let me know and I'll, I'll put that on the channel or you know my first attempt to paint a magma drop or something let me know that as well any suggestions is always helpful guys but anyway I've rambled on long enough in this video hope you enjoyed it hope you're doing very well keeping safe and trust me take it from me when I always say this uh, make sure you wear a mask you have to wash your hands like honestly someone who just had the virus not very nice like i was lucky didn't have it as bad as some people but um even the way i had it you know didn't enjoy it it's not worth having um and with that aside guys uh, remember more importantly though is that nagash is all and all is one in the gash see you later